Hi, my name is Rick Perry. Uh, I have a YouTube channel here where I uh, did a lot of pro audio, but I've retired from pro audio, so now it's back on to my regular day job, which is custom fabricating and automotive field. So I bought a 3D printer. I chose the Robo R1 um, because I like the larger build platform. It has enabled me to build larger items in the automotive field that uh, that I can prototype with before I send it to the machine shop to have CNC cut. So <clears throat> along the way uh, I was printing with PLA and everything I that I've printed this is one of those uh, fidget spinner deals that my son wanted to print. So right now we're loaded up with red ABS and I came up with a little idea. So I got this foam board at Walmart and this was actually uh, some scraps and so I made a little cutout and yeah I've had uh, the spool holder that's up here I still got it I don't know it just kinda makes me nervous because this thing's kinda I, I'm gonna come up with a different spool holder so I'm back to the original Robo 3D uh, spool holder works just fine for me so I took this foam board and I kind of blocked off all the openings and yes you had a little bit of space there that it's not covering up but when I was printing this little guy everything that I printed failed it would just pop off the raft and it would not stay on there. The current from the heat rising was pulling the cold air in and cooling the part and causing shrinkage and it was popping off. Now these prints were done with the fan off, with it on, with the brim, with the raft, 100 degree bed temperature, 250, 260 nozzle, 230, I've tried all kind of temperatures and everything and everything fell into place when I block this off. So anyway, let me show you what my plan for today is. Eventually I would like to enclose this in an acrylic case just so that it's environmentally controlled, no dust, no currents, uh, temperature is stable. But today we're going to do a quick trick. So let me reset our little table here and I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, we're back. So, what we're going to do is I bought some foam board at Walmart. This is 15 by 20. It's like $1.77 a piece. And I got these little Velcro buttons. These are clear. White is clear. They have white ones, black ones, and clear ones. So, I got the clear ones. And the reason I got clear. I could have contrasted the black because we're actually going to put the velcro buttons here. But I tried to keep this thing kind of neat looking. You know, I have a video where I'll I'll post a little link to the video where I mounted this little guy. And when I did, I found these neat little buttons that kind of match the machine. And when I got to thinking about it, I said, "You know, if I got black buttons, it would kind of contrast and it would look kind of cool. And then I thought, nah, it's going to have these black buttons on here. When I'm printing PLA, I'm not going to have these on there. And I didn't want that look. So clear it was. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our tape. And we're going to measure probably from this black line to this black line. We're going to come up the same distance that this is. Was this uh, roughly an inch? Yeah, so there's one inch, so we're going to come up one inch and measure down to this crease, measure from here to this crease, and from here down to the build plate. Then we're going to score the lines in the board, not cutting all the way through, just scoring, and we're going to put a break in the board. Then we'll put some buttons on here, 
and this piece will just velcro in place when I go to do the ABS when I'm not needing it I can pop it back off and we're all good to go now back here it's all the same except we'll have a cutout here you can even go as far as to cutting some small strips for the top I don't think we needed it but when I tested it I had these covered up so for now we're just going to do these boards so off camera I'm going to trim these boards up and I'll show you how I'm going to apply these okay so we're back I did all the cut pieces off camera uh, so I wouldn't bore everyone to death so what I did was I took a one of the strips and I just kind of test fit to make sure which what the cut lengths were so basically you got five inches down here I think it's five or five and a quarter no it's five and a quarter here five down and one and five eighths and that gave me this profile right here okay so then on the back side I made the cutout for the spool holder so that's going to be like that when we're done so now basically we just need to put the velcro pieces on what I've got here is I'm going to take some alcohol and we're going to rub down where the buttons are going to go and we're going to put the buttons on the cardboard we, yes we will wipe this down with alcohol as well apply the buttons uh, peel the tape off stick it on the machine and then we should be done All right. There's one side done. Okay, guys, that's it. I'm closing the video down. So this actually looks pretty cool. I like it. The only thing that I would do different is back here, a couple of buttons I put on the wrong way. So the fuzzies on the other side, I have tons of these left over. I think this was a 40 pack or so and it was uh i don't know five dollars yeah it's like five dollars so i can go back you know if i'm really concerned about it and just remove a button or two and put the right one on but for the most part um might have to do a little trim there yeah, just a little trim, but for the most part, um, that's sealed up pretty good. So let's just see how this works. So anyway, thanks for watching my video. If you like what you see, then share this video. And um, go down here and hit the subscribe button. And uh, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Alright, so we just uh, ran the program again. 
44 minutes. It was nice and hot coming out the top here. This is uh, a print that I did without the top closed up. So let's, uh, let's open it up. It's still kind of warm in here and it's been done for a while. So there you go. There is our print. Slightly warm. Uh, it's been sitting here done for, I don't know, 10 minutes now. Right, so, let's take it over to the table under the light. And that looks pretty good. So, that was bed temperature was 100 degrees. The extruder was 250 degrees, I believe. The uh, fan was the the extruder fan was turned off. I mean, the part fan, the extruder fan stays on. So now, let's see. Get my cheap little tripod here. We should be able to. Oh, that's pretty good adhesion there. There we go. So that part turned out great too. And you can see with the marks on the raft that it was adhered pretty well. Even there's some white marks even around the corner. So it was stuck pretty well. Alright, there you go. Thanks for watching.